Welcome back, everyone, to Old Rural Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Moe in which we're playing as those good old baggers right now. Yesterday, at, at least at the end of the last video, I asked you guys whether we should do the Make a Breakthrough or Technology of the Walking Death, or some of you guys said Walking Dead. Well, overall, there's more support for... Technology of the Walking Dead, in which we will go down that way. But, as someone did leave the comment from yesterday, we should do this stuff... Once we have Zach's fix, or Zach fixed. So that's what we're going to try to do. We need to research Zach's technology to get him fixed. So which means we've got to spend a lot of PP so that we can add more days to the mission project so that we can actually fix him up. Because it's going to take some time for us to actually get all the way, as someone else did point out, all the way over here. This is where the Zach's technology is. So we are going to have to take some time to do so. And I might just go ahead and try to do this ahead of time. Maybe we'll see what happens. But we're going to leave this alone for now. And as someone did say in the comments from yesterday, maybe we should go ahead and uh, do the Diligent Republic. So that this way we can go to the Iron Alliance, beat the crap out of them, before they ally Lanius. Up until now, our policy was to try to attract more people to our land. But we're building a new country in the wasteland. And while taxes are, taxes are already present, a nation is more than taxes and tolls. The strength of the nation depends on the strength of its citizens. And as such, our nation will be built upon the principle of hard work, which is good. And it looks like we have a little bit more resistance here. Basic tools. Oh, okay. Resistance went bye-bye. And we are doing this already, so I think I might just I might just do that and just rush down that way. Even if with the penalty, I might do that anyways. We'll see what happens. Um, but since we're going to go down with the Sentinel Combat Systems, which someone did say it was over here in the Reward Technologies, it is Command Modules, and then you can see the Power Armor here, which is... Oh, you know what I love? They even updated this, because I think I was playing this Alamo chapter, and we use basically the same thing here as well. But they had the little Brotherhood logo on them. But this one has the the bear and the star, which is really cool. So there is the command module, which is cool. Um, right now, though, since we're going to go down that way, we, need, we really need to talk about our land auction. Um, with the conventional warfare, it's okay. Weapon infantry, that doesn't include almost anything. Walking infantry does not include those sentinels. And someone else did point out that if we want to use them, this is not necessarily the best doctrine for us to really use for sentinels. As you can see... We get army, all the army units get two more organization. You get fire teams, demo teams, more defense, which is nice, and soft attack, whatever. You get mobile fortifications, which are pretty good. But then we also get rapid redeployment. So it doesn't really help those sentinels, which we might want to use a lot of since we're going to go for that way. But refined warfare is probably the way because you get stuff for the army, stuff for the infantry, which we'll probably continue using infantry as well as the sentinels, maybe to a degree, depending on what happens. Infantry, of course, again, but you have flexibility of movement for more breakthrough, more max speed, which you'd get over here anyways. Flexibility of command is always okay. I'm not sure. Do you guys use flexibility of command? Let me know in the comments. Do you guys use it? Because I usually don't, but I might be interested in using that. And then we have walking tanks, which both of these sides are good for purity and principle. Both good for power armor. Even just for general army stuff. Like, all of this is literally for all the entire army. Except for, of course, airborne assaults. But principle has army. You get more recon. Army, you get more army stuff over here as well. This is for infantry, which we might use because you can't always use just power armor. And then this one is also for heavy special forces. Obviously not infantry, but this does include sentinel automated power units. So, I'm ch I'm thinking we might go down this way. So, we'll probably finish this off. Get some more breakthrough. And then when, when we do have a break in warfare, we'll go ahead and probably go down the refined warfare tree. Which would be nice. And after this one, we'll probably do the asylum code. Oh, do we need uninvited guests? That would be really good to do. The capital of Colorado. Ah, the citizenship code. You get more stability. I like that. Let's do that one. A great number of our soldiers are serving the belief that one day they'll get citizenship out of it. We have a couple of years before the first one will apply for his. Little blue book or something, but just to be on the safe side, we should figure out how to handle the situation. This even poses some possibilities with manipulating acceptance and rejection, which is not bad. Cool. And there goes it goes, TAA. Goodbye, TAA. Uh, I did say I want to do this ahead of time, but let's go and do this, this one. This is already ahead of time, technically, so I do want to get that one done first. <clears throat> Uh, someone recommends that we do the Hellfire mod, which we I will. Like I've I've already played it once technically, and then removed it from the channel, technically. But eventually we'll go back there. Actually, we don't get a bonus to any of this. Ooh. We could keep going down that way, but it just makes more sense. We're using power armor to go down the other way. Automated warfare experience. I kind of want to get this guy just because you can. I just want the army XP. This makes a little bit more sense to grab, but I did forget to go this way. We should be able to go to war with these guys soon enough, so we might want to save our PP. 
and we just need one of these, so the uninvited guests. The whole Great War happened of wanton communist Chinese aggression, and now we have to deal with the Chinese remnants as well? This is simply bogus. All of them wear jumpsuits and military uniforms, so they're obviously a threat. We'll have to stop this red menace before it can start festering good old Colorado. Oh, we can purchase discs. Let's see, we've... Oh, that's not bad, yeah. Let's go and do that one. Amass backups. We've acquired enough disks to save a huge chunk of data. Add 120 days to Project Mission Zax. Can we do that again, maybe? That'd be kind of cool if we could. Um, hmm. It never hurts you to make a couple backups. Like on every edit of your work, just to be safe. Hmm, maybe I should make a back backup of this. Uh, manually delete secondary files. Disable unnecessary secondary subroutines. Uh, Project Zax. Attempt to repair the Zax computer. This decision is cheaper and more often choosable than the rest, but not more effective. Now that we have a specialist on our team, he can finally stabilize the computer's core, hopefully. Relearn Ohm's Law. It states that the current through a conductor between two points is directly proportional to the voltage across two points. It is quintessential knowledge required for anything remotely relating to electricity. And that's why we'll have to use it if we wanted to do any work on Zax at all. Ah, uh, it's only 25 pp. We might as well do that one right now. 465. Ah, uh, it says we can do it. I mean, maybe we can do it again? That's, that's a lot of days. That's not going to be enough. But it is a lot of days, and I want to be up some um, uh, Chinese people here. So we can take out both these guys. The Twin Brothers of the North, if you'd like to hear about that, please go right ahead. It is what it is. Things are getting stranger in Colorado. Yes, they are. Ooh. Hopefully they don't want to come for Dome City. That'd be really bad for us. We still get some, still get some good money, though. I like that a lot. So, yeah. Commander Vex seems so unique. Lieutenant Mariano, though, has quite a bit. He might have Italian heritage, too. Because either one, it doesn't really matter to me, so. Um, let's go and do it. Just go ahead. It's fine, whatever. And we want to save our PP for the Go Well Equipped Army. And after this one, Labor Service for Citizenship? Time to learn Chinese to get more compliance. Liberation of the Liberators. Well, we have to wait for that one. Anyways, Asylum Code. Denver's Chinatown. That's kind of cool. We can do that stuff. And then we have to go to the Republic Rising. The Law Code. The Criminal Code. Executives for Judicials. Legacy of the Tibbets Prison. Um, the Lawless Wasteland. Ooh, that would be good. So let's go down and do Republic Rising because we need to get at least one of these. More and more people and ghouls are under our control. Slowly but surely, people joining our ranks. The settlements started to send their first taxes, and after the wars, peace starts to settle in. We're starting to look like the NCR. You could even say that we're the little, their little brother in a way. Maybe, maybe we could actually become a republic after we completely consolidated the lands under us. And now let's beat up some Chinese soldiers. We're calling all of our no allies. And we should do probably pretty darn well. There we go. Scott's bluff is ours. Come to Avalo. Nice. And if you want to, just go down there too and circle them. That's fine. A little bit of a struggle didn't hurt us too much, right? And we don't want to forget. I, well, you guys don't. I forgot. Oh, can't do that anyways? Oh, come on, man. 44%. We need more war support or something like that. Ooh. Hmm. Can anyone get us just some straight war support right now? Can we get Paul and this other person? That'd be kind of cool, actually, if we could. It's not a bad idea. You know what? We might just do that. It hurts our stability, though. Anyone for war support? No. I don't think we have anyone here for that. That really sucks. Military, pre-war colonel. So we have, we'll be forced to do this one, which is fine. Whatever. That's fine with me. Hmm. Is it funding the army? Is there any way we can get war support here first? Because we have to go to war with these guys anyways. War propaganda? Yes, we can. So we just have to wait a little bit longer. Go to war with these guys, and well equipped army will be a good thing for us. All right. Oh, we didn't see how many we killed off. That sucks. Wait, how much? Do, oh, we need fifty percent though. That's going to be quite a while. These guys might be a little bit more difficult, maybe. So we'll see. And then we'll convert our guys over to power armor probably as well. So, actually, our divisions. How are they? They are twenty combo width. They could use some demos though for now. Yeah, they could really use some demo teams. Fabricate new resistors. As a passive two terminal electrical component that implements electrical resistance as a circuit element. And of course, the old ones have burned out around the last decade. Figures we'll have to change them out, probably. Republic Rising, nice. Oh, there goes those guys. Hmm, we have the PP4, why not? 37%, yeah. 50%, it's gonna take so long to get there. Just, I don't care. We could probably do that one. We actually get less money. We need to be warmonger. But at the same time, we do need to core more territories, too, so. 39, pretty good. 
criminal code? Let's, let's do the criminal code. The new lands came with new nuisances as well. Raider gangs always lurk around Colorado settlements like rad squarks. In the past, we'd simply shoot them dead, but now maybe we can solve this problem more democratically. It would be nice to not hang all the corrupt for a minute for a change as well. And then once these guys are all done, we'll take down the resistance target over there. The Liberation of the Liberators. The Chinese ghouls live under their pre-war military higher-ups, preventing them from leaving their old lives behind now. That is no longer the situation. They can feel truly free for the first time in over two centuries. In gratitude, they have offered to help us reverse engineering their primitive robots. While they're quite inferior to our designs, we have, they have some interesting ideas that we could implement as well. Scrap bots are nice. How are planes? Oh, we need barrage balloons too. That'd be good. That would be very good. Very, very good. Alright, we can do new assistance care package later on, but it doesn't really matter. Now we can form new Colorado. We need to control more than 15 states, and then we get a claim on every Colorado state. Oh, that's cool. Purchase hollow disks? We could probably do that as well. Ooh, so maybe we can continue to redo that. That'd be very good as well. Hmm, Mariano. Implementing a criminal code. But let's do this one first. Primitive radio? It's a little bit too ahead of time for me to do that one, really. Let's grab some more output. Colorado was always a chaotic place after the war. Its northern regions were plagued with feral ghouls and raiders, and the rest are under different tribes. They don't understand nor respect the law. While the government has tried to combat these problems, we've still seen a massive surge of criminal behavior. Corruption amongst local officials and officers just, uh, just rampant, sadly. We'll have to write and enforce a criminal code to combat these problems. While discussing the detail of a code of law is quite dr a dry topic, there are broadly two approaches we could take the principle of the hard fist or the gentle palm. The hard fist is quite explanatory. We don't know or we don't will don't know or show mercy. Any transgression will be rewarded with swift and brutal retribution. Everybody will have to fear the consequences. The gentle palm is somewhat counterintuitive to most wastelanders. It involves removing offenders from negative influences and attempting to reform them, ideally turning hardened criminals into productive citizens. The only way that we can pull through is under cruel law. Pray their mercy may pers uh, preserve us once we touch the other side. Oh, mercy? Do we have to deliver mercy unto people? Technically, we did go purity. So, code unity? We went with purity, and we did say that our hatred of these twisted by radiation means we cannot choose to rec recruit any mutants, so... It seems more likely that we'll choose cruel rule, because we went with purity. If I was going to play this again and do code unity, then we'd pray for the mercy, but... We're not merciful today, apparently. I like to do this one, too, but... Ooh, uninvited guests. We want to do that one next, but I'll come in very soon. The Lawless Wasteland. It seems as if we pull down, put down a rabid dog, then communist ghouls show up, and after them, heavily weight raiders. Colorado will have to put up the fight if it wants to finally achieve peace and prosperity. And Bullet Eater is next on the list. Let's feed him some lead if he wants it so badly. Yeah, if we're aggressive here, that just drops our war support, so I don't think we'll be able to get to that one, so we could probably do that one again. That's not bad. Actually, that's really good. Yeah. Oh, no, we can do this one. 42% low attention. Oh, uh, we're intellectuals. Part of the government has Warmonger. More than 20% of the baggers total number of factories. Okay. I'm glad I waited. I'm glad we waited. I, re I really am. No, there was something else I was going to do here. I forget exactly what I was going to do. Ooh. I can't remember. Maybe core more stuff, but we don't have enough stuff for that. Anyways, right now. Boulder Dome needs to get core, because that's a pretty good place to core next. So, 60 PP? That's not too bad. Raymer? Y you avoided the capital, huh? There you go. Atwood? Coordinated Assault. I'm gonna wait. I wanna go down this way, but I wanna wait before... I wanna do the land doctrine after we take out Bullet Eater. Because after then, we might be at peace for a little bit, so... And there you go. Nice. Now, Bullet Eater is probably not going to be too easy, because he's probably got some sort of power armor here and there. I don't think we have any land doctrine, or land doctrine, anti-tank. Anti-tank. So, I'm going to wait to change you guys. Mm, how, many, how many, we don't have that many caps, I'm going to keep some of the caps for now. Uh, actually, no, no, screw it, just do that. There you go. That, that makes it super easy. You don't even have to spend PP for this, which is so nice. That's so nice. And we're going to learn some Chinese. But we're going to put down some of the uh, resistance here first. I, of course, would like to know how many divisions these guys do have and how many are power armor. About a thousand manpower. Ooh, that's a lot of... Yeah, we might want to wait for some... Yeah, they got some of that boy, those boys over there. 
We definitely gonna need some anti tanks. There's no point to fight them if we don't have anti tanks. So, um, okay, well, we get some more compliance. Learn to time to learn Chinese. The Chinese we've encountered don't seem anything like as dangerous or aggressive as the pre-war hull tapes said they were. Some of them speak English, even if they are a bit rusty. We've started to train dedicated translators so we can learn from them and vice versa. This seems like a start of a beautiful, if odd, friendship. This is going to be the bread and butter for us. Uh, go and do that. Actually, go for. We just need more divisions for now. Um, yeah, with with us trying to do this ahead of time, uh, we're, I, I'm not going to redo the land auction for now. It looks like they'll probably actually hit us pretty pretty harshly. So we'll use planes. Hopefully that help us out. Battle for Hoover Dam. Very nice. Mm, go ahead and train. Dome City, thank you. Uh, Resource-wise, five waters, no waters, and that's the same population. Double the population, but we can't get there yet. Uh, let's go down with you. We need as many cores done. The old world wall holds, which happens almost every single time, which is fine. But time to learn some Chinese. And then we could squash the bugs, which wouldn't be bad. Uh, ghouls are ghouls. We get some... Okay, so that's not too bad. We get lose some manpower, though. Add Chinese power armor. Oh. Red Vipers and their subjugator. Those... Oh. Code Unity. Oh, we need we needed to have done that. So we can't do this one, which, which sucks. So if you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Labor service for citizenship. Uh, you know, let's do that one. Just so we get some factories. We found a great source of new soldiers from guaranteeing citizenship for them. But there were a lot of appliers who we deemed unfit for military service. Young kids, old men, even pregnant women showed up to secure a better future for their offspring. There's an untapped potential here, and we could easily get some additional workforce into our workshops by adding the alternative option of civilian service. We could always use more guns, and the scientists need labor to move equipment into their dome as well. So we're getting that stuff. We could try that. Let's... Well, radar's really useful, though, too. And I did want some de demo teams for infantry while we still have them. While we... Can still use them so and actually it would be good to core over here as well just gives a little bit more defense a little bit more defense but it's gonna take too long to do that there you go nice specialized warfare is good come back over here grab some of this as well oh guns guns let's go with guns i like guns oh we're building a lot of that stuff up keep keep making some civvies in nice doesn't really matter to me well Build roads eventually, so. Cool. Time to learn some Chinese and labor service for citizenship, which is good. Over here, let's go and do... Oh, we need to send a caravan. Oh, that's not good. Project Zax sells 550 days, which is nice. We gotta get more money, though. We definitely gotta get more money. Mm. So, we'll have to wait first. Well, public projects is very good. Grab some more construction speed. Thank you. Output is looking okay. Not great. Not great. We have plenty of guns. Go to two and go down to three that many? Go down to three. There you go. And barrage balloons, I don't really care about using too much. And there you go. And there you go. Okay, they, they're one of the hang dogs. Oh, boys, ghouls are ghouls. Uh, so we get some stealth armor. That's not bad. And homemade assault rifles, but we can wait. Arms in the dark? Let's do that one. We are scientists and tired soldiers far from home. We have no time for heroics, no, nor manpower for glorious charges for the epics to come. If we have to play dirty or use irregular warfare forms, we'll certainly not miss out on the opportunity. A kick under the belt, throw sand into their eyes, or plant dirty bombs after seeing the sun going down, will there be one thing that matters? Are we going to be recorded on the pages of history as victors, or as mere statistics? Good question. Uh, we can get away on this stuff. Let's grab this one. Nice. Keep going, stuff. Actually, we're, we're this is coming along very nicely, very quickly, actually, which is very nice. That's a lot of resources, and two more civvies would be good. Gears conviction, that's fine. Uh, ooh, I do want to core all this stuff as well. We will need to fight these guys. Oh, maybe even Diana. We might have to fight Diana then. Into arms in the dock, though. Sixty-one. That's good for population. I'm thinking we just get over here first, because we're not going to fight over, not fight Diana just yet. We will have to, which is going to suck, suck, suck. Actually, how much manpower? 13, 17, 6,000. Oh, and we want to make sure we actually make some of this too. That would be good. There you go. We're going to need a lot of that. Alright, guys, you're going to need some anti tank. As well as you guys. Oh, God, they're only 12 combat with that sucks. That really sucks. They're almost done too. Arms in the dark after that one. Good news sent home. Uh, we can see what happens. Uh, I think I read, this, read this, this one last time, so if you want to read this one again, please go right ahead. I mean, I think I chose that one before I had to redo some of this, so... And the extra civvies will be very nice for us, too, so... Alright, let's see if we can core this spot. 
It's not worth very much, but hey, two more arms factories. Not bad. Good. That's good. We're getting better, better, better. Even better over here. We got plenty of guns for now. Nice. Of course. Oh! Uh-oh. Ooh. Are they fighting the hanged? Oh, don't tell me they're allied. Don't tell me they're already allied. Oh, they're already... Oh, God, no. They're already part of the Legion. Oh, God dang it. We waited too... I waited too long. Oh, God dang it. Hmm... Well then, it seems like then we've got to go another direction. Hmm. Don't drink the water though. Uh, restart the laboratories. Turn on the lights. Capital of Colorado. Estimated army strength ratio of 100% or more compared to the hang dogs. Squash the bugs. Eh. Let's keep going down with whatever we've got already. Well then, do we have anything about Diana here? Because I don't mind going to that part of Colorado. Oh yeah. Has completed Sanctuary and Paradise? The things are not met yet. New color. We need our... F oh. How many regions do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, technically. But we can't do that. Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, yeah, we can. The winds of change blow swiftly across the wasteland. A few can resist its power for too long. While we may call ourselves the baggers today, we may find it right to change our identity as we forge a new path. The expedition only came to Colorado to research and relieve, or retrieve relics from the dome. While our mission got complicated over the years, we never imagined that one day we would become a power equal to the NCR. But the power of the people to believe, or the the power of the people to believe and hope is something sometimes stronger than even reality. With a huge area of land under our control, and having saved countless people from tyrannical warlords, we can proudly ready to organize ourselves as the NCR, or the New Calif Colorado Republic. Nice. And there we go. Look at that. New Colorado Republic. Cool. And we're also assimilating some refugees, so that's good. That's very good, actually. That'll help out with Vampire as well. So if that's the case, hopefully we get through this one quickly so we can get some more money. For Desolation, uh, Flagstaff is okay. North Phoenix is so just tasty, tasty, tasty. Oh, next. Good. New Colorado Republic? It's safe to say at this point we're Colorado. No, we control most of its territories. Well, it's a good chunk. So no one can call it hubris when we reform as a state. This is our destiny. Our reward for all the blood we have shed on the dry field and cold mountaintops. We're Colorado, and nobody can take that away from us. Or take this away from us. We get more war support, which is good. And just five Wargo Sums goes up by 25%, which is also very, very nice. The, oh, and these are 70 focuses. Very cool. The first, the Republic's first election. Uh-oh. Make us some money. Very good, very good. Uh, how are we doing with engineering? Ooh. I kind of just want to keep plowing through this, so. Albert Butler, heavyweight. Heavyweight? Barter. There you go. And maybe we won't go to war with them. I, don't want to, I do want to know what like what we can do with Diana. That'd be kind of cool if we can ally with her. Uh, we'll save her PP for this one probably. 61, that's not bad. Better pistols are good. Better defense will be good as well. We got plenty of these for now, which is awesome. Let's grab some dynamite as well. That'd be very, very good. Uh, go down to the bottom. Keep making that stuff. Make, 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 and or break. The new capital of the new Colorado. Every nation needs a capital, that's for sure. And at this point, Boulder served this purpose without a hitch. Still, there are two other candidates on the list as well. Dog City, formerly Denver, has most people pre-war salvage and has a symbolic value as well. On the other hand, we could put our capital in New Sterling, our industrial heart. Ah, uh, technically we don't have either one. Technically, so... While I like the gesture, I'm not sure if it's going to really fly for us. But we'll see what happens. Oh, and actually, do we have the money? Oh, yeah. Phoenix... Oh, yes, please, please. Oh, yes, please. And then we can do buy stuff and mass more backups, because that one's just just worth doing. That's just straight up worth doing, so. 61 is quite a bit. Now, and we'll need 50 for this one, too. But we get defense of court territory there. The banner to salute. Symbols unite peoples. It can be anything. The language, culture, and any kind of fabricated unity. The best and maybe the oldest that one can boast about is a flag. We can continue to use our old one. It was a symbol of the expedition, but it served us nicely until this point. Alternatively, we could adopt the old Colorado State flag or use a very cool one which mimics the NCR flag. A great ram on the side view on the Colorado blue field. The city of the people. Colorado, an enormous state comprising mountains and plains, savages and civilized folks around the number of the numbers of 100,000. These people may have been united under our guiding hand, but there's no real sense of unity yet. A city which all can them call, can call home is a first step towards that dream. 
The control of Boulder was always the ultimate goal of the expedition. This place contains all raw riches, raw resources, and is still functioning technologies worthy of our attention. The dome is a symbol of progress and higher thought as well. The city around it is heavily radiated, though, and while we already started to fix these problems, it could be decades before we could repopulate it. Dog City is the capital of Colorado and its most developed region as well. It's the geographic heart of the state. And as half of our population also lives there, it's the city of our people. Most of it got demolished under the bombing and securing all of the concrete jungle seems just about impossible. New Sterling would be an interesting choice as well. It's rather small compared to the other two, but it is heavily industrialized perfectly, fitting for a new military's HQ. It's pre-planned -pre streets and buildings made it easily expendable. And as we purge their old residents, it could take any form we require still. It was a city of raiders, and it hardly has any sentimental value compared to the other two. The choice is ours. Boulder is quite cozy. Oh, strengthen the position of our... Oh, scientist faction. Uh oh We have... Scientist factions? Or just, I guess, just intellectuals, maybe? Okay. The Republic's first elections. Un up until this point, our nation was led by the remnants of the Colorado Expedition, a collective of Californian scientists and scavengers. The results until this point were superb, but still we need to give our people the ability to elect their leaders. While Goddard seems like a safe choice, there are a couple of people who want to get onto the future ballot, and they'll all have a different vision for the future. The Flag for the People We previously spoke about symbols and such, but the most important one has to be decided now, the flag. Our old guard of the expedition won our foothold and conquered much of Colorado under the old flag, the Bear of California, overlaying letters and CR. If we keep it, the entire wasteland will know that its new estate is allied with its most successful. For the most, uh, for the most, this debate is completely unnecessary. We're the successor of the old state of Colorado, and as such, we will parade under the Grand Sea with pride and loyalty. One of our designer drafted something that got somehow got brought before the Provisional Council. As clearly inspired by the NCR, the state animal in the profile over our colors in the background, with the initials of our state next to the animal's head. Not really creative or inspired, but though the implementation is crude at best, there are a lot of people who love it. Most of us believe they're simply trolls or hardcore NCR loyalists to the extreme. The vote is it the, the vote on it is cast. Well, that's kinda cool. I do like that. But I kinda like the, the old, so I found grow fond of the old flag, set it back. We're Colorado in this? This is our flag. That snazzy ram one. I wonder who put it together. That's cool and all. But we're we're Colorado, right? The Democratic faction. Yeah, I like that. I like this one. Uh oh. Wait, hunted. Guys? Um. Hmm. I mean, I guess they could land here. What do you guys want? You want all this stuff? Well, let me go tell you how to go suck a fat one, then. Hounds of day. The Colorado Congress, though. Everything's in, everything is in place. And now, the Congress of the New Colorado Republic sits for the first time. Together, we start the great adventure that will redefine not only our lives, but the very nature of the wasteland. The greatest expedition in all of history. We are here, and here we're staying. Raiders? Oh, oh. Okay, it's just on today. Keep us safe. No! Get out of here! Oh, I see why! Oh, God, Diana, why did you do that for? Okay, now I see what's going on. Well, I'm glad we didn't go to War with New Sterling and, and those guys over there, so. Now I wish we uh, kind of cored this area now. But well, we can do that quickly now. The leader by the people. The plan to reform our state into a republic is underway, and no republic can function without an elected leader. The people have to, the right to stand on the ballot and decide their own future. The safest option would be clearly to be the, let the group currently reigning lead our country forward. This group of scientists represented and led by Dr. Goddard and their vision a bit different from the Californian standard. Their vision is a meritocracy, a place where only the talented, brilliant, and skilled would have the right to vote and run for any kind of higher office. Letting them guiding us forward would clearly put a big emphasis on scientific development to the detriment of anything else. Another candidate also emerged from the scientific crowd. Agnes, one of the other scientists, is a quite an interesting figure. A skilled diplomatic, a talented doctor, and having the temperament of a mother bear, she seems a sound choice. Her charisma has already won her a high number of followers. Her campaign revolves around uniting the people through diplomacy and so bringing peace in the region. Her reign would bring much needed peace and stability. The Republic is an offshoot of the NCR. This is something we never deny, but some would sacrifice everything to get the most out of that relationship. 
General Coleridge. Coleridge. As a stern man, a dedicated soldier from his original expedition, still loyal to the NCR. He speaks softly and carries a big stick and wants to turn the new Colorado Republic into the NCR's new frontier. He envisions welcoming Californian settlers and maybe one day the total integration of the region into the NCR proper. A soldier of great renown, lots of people see him as the best man to protect us from the incoming tide from the south. Naturally, his role places even more emphasis on our armed forces. Goddard? Well, he oh, becomes a stagnant politician. Chief Electromechanic Engineer, not bad. But we lose people which I don't like. They are recalling Agnes as a Tandy of Colorado. You lose stability, give him a research speed. And uh, scientists, democratic or a dangerous place, this is. Cold Ridge will protect us. Uh, that's not bad, but planning speed, man. I don't know, we're gonna, we, we've been doing, doing Goddard for a while now. I think he's been doing quite well. He can already, obviously, he's led us this far. So I don't want to lose that political power, though, man. That's, that's gonna hurt. Ooh, I don't want to do that, but... And we already kind of got rid of Agnes earlier with this, so... Oh, Goddard, why do you bane me? Oh, man. <sighs> so painful. The Colorado Congress. Oh, wait, we should have looked at this. Oh, they completed that. Emergency Act Refugee Crisis. You have more than 5,000 unassimilated refugees in your nation. Okay, and then Emergency Act Marching Cohort. Ooh. Well, let's do Emergency Act Goddess from the Machine. Follows the apocalypse. Uh... Mm. Let them gum. We kind of did purity, but they might be able to assimilate people more quickly. Ooh. But no, oh, we, we don't have the. I don't have the PP for this. Just I can ignore them. Something is awakened from her deep slumber. God is from our backyard. That's kind of cool. I wonder how long it's going to take for them to go to war with us. The results. The most important decisions have been made. We have the place to symbol the president to be a properly working state. Now, the boring tasks have to be performed. And hosting the first Colorado Congress will be the first on the list, will hardly be boring at all. The factions beyond our previous decisions and suggestion sprawl for power through the legislature. And looking through our senators, we can easily say who won these fight for sure. While our elected leader packs a heavy punch in all matters, there is absolutely no power here. And the most numerous faction clearly will have the final word in all matters. The scientists hold most of the power. War support and research speed. Okay, Council of Minds, not bad. Oh! Oh, we got rid of them. Oh, God. Oh, it's so bad. Well, oh. Okay, that's mechanized. Wait, mechanized? Can we get mechanized in all world blues? Um, hmm. Dr. Sebastian, of course. Okay, oh, wait, Boulder Dome. Oh, we have Boulder Dome, I guess. Oh, it's up. I did that one for us. 30 days? Okay, so let's see how long they're going to take to try to kill us off. Okay, they've got like two more months left, which is fine. They have a lot of resistance to deal with as well, which is good. Can we core this one yet? No, we need a little bit more, more PP. Pee -pee. Oh, we, have, we don't have any money. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, boy. Quickly War Sport. God dang it. Uh, whatever. Emergency Act. Oh, they just go straight to war. We'll fortify our river crossings over the Arkansas tributary with level 1 outposts. And we'll raise Port Pueblo over the land bridge, which will count as a level 2 outpost. We'll raise a marine company for every river crossing we have to defend our borders. We'll spawn in the given city states. Oh god, we'll wait till we go to war with them first. Maybe, hopefully. So we'll see what happens with them. The capital? Um. Ooh. Actually, for this one then, we might have to auto bypass this just because the hang dogs will be dead eventually. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, city of Boulder? Let's grab this one. Breathe life into the fort. It's hard to believe that Collins was once a fort, but honestly, it's hard to believe that any pre-war settlements could still exist. While fortification seems quite unnecessary at the moment, we could still develop a healthy arms industry here instead. After all, we need as many weapons as we can possibly get. Hopefully they don't naval invade us. That'd be quite bad. Alright, so you guys looking pretty darn good. Head on over there. Well, if you can. Hey, more division is nice. Uh, actually, I might send you over here just in case. You might struggle a little bit, but the goddess from our backyard. There was a facility, a far-off building hidden between the hugging arms of the Rockies that what, what we ignored until this point. But now, as Lanius marching up north and desolated the lands of the Twin Mothers, their tribals fled up north into our lands. They follow a goddess, at least that's what they call her. We're not sure what Diana is, maybe a rogue AI, or something robotic with alien intelligence. What matters is that the goddess is furious and ready to strike everything in her path to accomplish her revenge. While we hardly anticipate her cooperation, we could strike a deal with her. She will succumb under us, saving her children from further needless casualties, giving her that nursery place as her whole domain. We're pretty sure that her ego will not let that happen, so instead of wasting time with cur couriers, we could use the time to prepare our defenses against the wrath of the goddess. Let's render gods under us. We should be wary of false gods. Uh... 
I'm kind of interested in seeing what we do. But then again, we did go purity. And I might play this again sometime and do code unity. Except the goals as equals. It just makes more sense to do... Oh, well, I guess we're going to get more defense. My bad. Weary of false gods. Oh, that's interesting. So my apologies for clicking that way too quickly. That was my fault. Um, let's see. Ooh, actually. Radio. Radio first. Keep making more buildings. Oh, they're actually trying to break through here. Good. Let them let them die. Oh, we're done with that? Okay. Well then, so be it. Breathe light into the life into the fort. How's our tray? We're looking good on scrap. We'll get two more factories. It'll be good for that, and then good for that, and we'll grab some more of that, which is good. They shouldn't be able to break us, especially since we... Oh, we didn't core this yet. Oh, there we go. Now we cored it. Now we get more defense on core territory. Now we should be good. 84 is not good. 240? Eh. We'll see. Hopefully we get a lot of experience, though. Oh, that's not good. I guess we'll have to wait and see them. Uh, the city of Boulder. While Boulder's importance lies in the dome, there's still a city around it. The Chinese knew that the dome was built to withstand nuclear blasts and only targeted the city with a small number of warheads, though damaged by the blast and the two centuries of neglect. There's life in the ruins and potentially prospectable resources as well. We only have to send people there to reclaim it. Nice. Go over there first. I'm a little worried about that one, so you guys get in here too. How are they doing this much damage? Of course, we only have two divisions guarding there, I guess. But, hmm. We don't keep an eye on this one too. We, have, we do have enough, so we'll go do that one. 435, not bad. Attempt repair improve with vacuum tubes? A vacuum tube or electron tube is a device that controls ele electric current between electrodes in an evacuated container. And while there was a couple of Zax computers that got created with modern micro vacuum tubes, our an older design Zax clearly could use the upgrade. Why not? Oh, now they're losing. That's not good. Maybe we should deploy you guys quite a bit more closely. There you go. I'm just go and deploy them. Send half you guys here, and then send one of them over there. That should give them enough time to help defend. Are we have enough resources besides support equipment? We do. That's good. Head on back in. You'll do fine. Oh, they actually pushed us out. Well, they should be really getting hit hard then if they're doing that. Uh, ooh, demos. We could probably use demos. I kind of want to use what? Let's do flamers. We only have two on them right now. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Let them struggle against us. And you're going to force the force defense. Because I don't understand how they're doing so well against us. I really don't. Like, what's going on? This doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, I guess we didn't do our land auction technically. Technically, so. This should be fine. Over here should be fine as well. Actually, with you guys. There you go. No, you're not giving up. Man, these hounds are annoying. I'll be honest, these hounds are quite annoying. There you go. Standardized tools are good, though. Very, very good. Get some more output as well. Seriously? How are they winning? Oh, man. I guess just... We got... We should have done our land auction earlier. That's why. I mean, their casualty rate has to just be... Has to be going up higher than this, man. This doesn't make any sense to me. Go and hold. Don't worry about it. They still have to take these two divisions down. Or two tiles down, so... All right, you want to attack there? Nope. My God. Go and hold, hold a little bit. You might actually be able to send divisions over here too. The city of Boulder. The city outside the dome. Boulder, sometimes referred to by the locals as Stone City, found itself rapidly growing due to the rarest reason a city has grown before, natural disaster. The Rocky Mountains Arsenal Toxic Waste Containment Unit has been damaged and through a leak. A great poisonous cloud killed large numbers of people in Denver. The military at first tried to cover up the incident. They never released exact statistics regarding the disaster, but later they decided to give a pre present to Colorado as an apology. They funded the construction of the dome the city of the future, a research facility that would bring prosperity to the city at that point. Boulder was nothing more than a suburban district of Denver, a university city, if you will, where the shops, towns, and home, and everything else was designed to accommodate the students of tomorrow, then the war happened. Boulder was burned to ashes by nuclear hackfire, and while Dome, the reason this peaceful little settlement became a target, was still the nuclear fallout. It was built that way. 200 years later, the city itself is full of loot, as the radiation is only slowly fading in the region, and the ruins of the old arsenal probably didn't help the problem either. Before we arrived, a pack of ghouls tried to pick it clean. Slowly, day by day, trying to openly spend, only spend a couple of quarters between the ruins so as to avoid being turned into a feral glowing one. 
Look, these brave fools who turned were exiled to the lands of the Luminous Ones. Now we have everything needed to clean up the city and gain access to its head and treasures. Oh, that's cool. That's really nice. That's really good, actually. Anything else that'll help us with warfare? Probably not. Good news at home. Uh, more manpower. Squash the bugs. Eh. The asylum code. Ghouls are ghouls. Uh, we could do that one, but not, not really going to help us. There's nothing here that's going to just immediately help us. Maybe the land auction might be really good to do eventually. Hmm. Military service for citizenship. I think I've already read this one, so if you want to read it again, please go right ahead. Anything for defense? On yeah, we'll probably grab this guy. Let's get some more PP first. Or, you know what? Don't, don't even do it. We want more PP. Because we need more defense on core territory, unfortunately. You both gotta get down there immediately. We, we literally can't afford to lose too many more tiles here, so. Good. Throw them in. Get in. Come on. Go, 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 go. And actually, since we're here, we're gonna... Um, Maybe improve these guys? We can throw some demo teams on them first. They don't require that many. Can we do that? No, we cannot. That sucks. Complicated circuitry is good. I don't want to keep doing this as a head of town, but if we have to, we have to, so. Wait, what are you doing? No, hold, 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 hold. Sergeant Larson, you should be learning a whole lot here. Quite a bit, man. Quite a bit. Right, upgrades, though. Upgrades are always good to do. Right? And this is the guy firing over the go rooted. Uh, yeah, even if we use Pain Train later on, going Rooted is still pretty good. And actually, you do that as well. There you go. And we got enough manpower for this for a while, so. And once we get more defense on core territory, that should help us out, too. Nope, you're going back. Anyone else? We'll do the same thing. Oh, we got it. Good. Uh, division defense, though. It's just not even core territory. It's just division defense. That's not bad. And fire teams. We should get some fire teams. Good. Alright, so let's go ahead and do another focus then since we got that. Well, that should help us out. Military service for citizenship. Yeah, let's get some saws next. How are we... I don't understand. How... Well, I guess I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do understand how bad we're doing because we don't do the land auction yet. But at this point, I don't want to touch it. <sighs> Since we're in the middle of a war. Stongs are very good. I like that a lot. Bull maybe bear. Very good. Got good, some good monies. And we're going to need to save some of that monies, but that's okay. Uh, we have no PP, though. Hmm. Big sadness. Okay, come on. Followers. By this, we're learning a lot, right? Desert Fox. Desert Fox Hills Fighter. Desert Fox as well. Oh, we're, oh, we're actually all out of a lot of guns now. That's really not good. If we have enough of that... Oh, we don't really have a lot of that. Even if we did this... No, we do... Oh, we put it on. Okay, so we do have enough of that. That's good. good, 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 good. Now that's a little better. They started attacking a little bit more. No, no. Hold, 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 hold. Don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry about it. Oh, Flamer's good. Do we make more divisions, maybe? Maybe not. Alright, so... With all these, we would lose our entrenchment bonus if we actually went back and did this one instead. Which is something I want to avoid. We could get more entrenchment speed for walking, or just entrenchment for walking. I just don't think it's worth it yet. Which might be a mistake, but hey, it is what it is, I guess. And that's okay, we're going to actually not take you. You look really bad. Just go leave and come back. No, I said go back. I said go back, and they're like, no. Yeah, let's go. We'll grab that next. Let's go ahead and grab some fire teams. Might as well. Might as well, right? We don't have a big industry, but we'll use whatever we can right now. Saws. That'd be good for defense. You head on over there. We're going to head on over here then. And they're starting to attack again. That's fine. You guys head over here. I wonder how much equipment they have, actually. We've lost about a thousand. They've lost about two thousand, so. Could be worse. Could be a lot worse. Oh, that's not good either. Purchase. There you go. Right, let's go back up. That's good. How much equipment do they have in reserve? Like, they got plenty of manpower, but they're gonna run out of equipment before anything else. Oh, uh, they got plenty. We'll be here for a while, so. How about this? 
Let's read a few through fo few focuses, and I'll keep doing this off screen. Let's go and do lessons from old world soldiers. Our latest conquest brought in a number of new faces, and many of whom even lived before the Great War happened. Some of them even served in the USA's military, with varying ranks and lengths of service. We can learn from them a couple of new tricks that our people have forgotten over the last couple of centuries. Start producing NCR great firearms. Despite our expedition having been heavily militarized, most of our soldiers don't have a uniform and are forced to use locally manufactured or salvaged weapons. Sometimes even crude uh, pipe weapons. This won't do. Maybe we don't have a gun runners in our back alley, but we even in our current condition, we can do better. The M&A 9mm pistol that is a standard sidearm of the NCR military is quite simple and could be easily put into production. As the expedition stalls and stalls more, our original staff starts to completely fade away, the servants grow old, engineers lose eyesight, and soldiers descend six feet to their earth final rest. New recruit people recruited from the local populace will need to carry our torch, and we'll need to train them properly to perform their duty. We'll probably even do squash or buggers off, off here as well, off screen, just because we can. And the Gadoos at home. I think I read that one yesterday as well. Um, so, now that we're in control of the dome again, we should reestablish communications with California. Our connection was always shaky at best, due to the logistical difficulties caused by the distance still. After 20 years, they should be happy to hear us again, and maybe we could secure ourselves some aid as well. And maybe the code law. The more settlements we control, the more soldiers, the more our soldiers patrol the streets, the less people will face arbitrary criminal punishments. This has come to an end before we start hanging up more foremen from lampposts. Local courts will be set up to deal with corrupt elements and administer the rule of law, and I'll see you in just a little bit. And here we are, everyone, now the Ram and the Bear. Major Fleming was ecstatic when he came back from the long home run. He had never seen Shady Sands before. He was one of the, our locally grown soldiers. He reports that Congress was initially surprised and confused to hear from us, an attitude which swiftly changed to delight and hard-earned cheers. Their newest endeavor, the Mojave Campaign, was receiving a mixed reception from the populace of California, and they hoped that our great news could result in a great popularity surge. The second Colorado expedition quickly got organized to send back, with the lead of an experienced, although unimpressive, statesman. Former Governor Joseph Dodge, officially signed Governor of New Colorado, marched in with the reinforcements, and while we could argue that we need no California nobody, Fleming has great things to say about him, and this is all we need, so this is the expedition that came back to us. The NCR answered, and they sent back their wholehearted support and Governor J Joseph Dodge to help us in our plans to formalize into a real state. Unfortunately, they cannot provide direct support until we don't share a border. We get more manpower, stability, and then we get better relations. Two divisions worth of New Colorado Expedition Expeditionary Forces will report for duty in our capital. And as you can see, oh look at this, I like this. They have the little, uh, the bear icons. Nice, that's actually really cool. Now they're not as good as our normal Colorado Expeditionary Forces because we got demo teams and saws now, but nevertheless, could be so much worse. So I'm gonna make them even better. So here we are, here are the casualties, my friends. 3,000 losses versus 24,000. And right now we are pushing into the good old Hounds of Day. They have no manpower left. It took us quite a while. It is January 25th, 2280. Stockpiles looking pretty much the same, actually. Pretty much the same since we left it last time. Oh, never mind. They got a lot of basic weaponry. But they're out of manpower, so this is why we're going to try to press the advantage right now. And encircle seven divisions. Let's make sure we can have a good time with them first. Uh, I haven't done any other focuses. However, we do have some options here because I did, let's see, pass a torch. Um, I, could, I already read this one, but I didn't realize that it was, this would allow us to unlock army reform decisions. And we got more division organization, attack and defense, which was very nice. So, and actually, because of how long we've taken, we're 40 days away from finishing Zack's technology. Which is pretty cool. Uh, we have to be at peace to get some more caps, but and that's not looking good. But we should be finished with, with this war soon enough. We have 181 days left, so we don't probably need to spend our money for this one anymore since we have 40 days left. And now we can deploy Captain Davidson. It's been a long time since Davidson was in the field. But as the war turns out more desperate, we need every experienced man and who better organize their defense than the head of the sentries. Cool, we can grab him. We can't get Sergeant uh, Eli just because we did not complete the focus code purity. It is what it is. He was originally took part in the Fallout New Vegas mod, Beyond the Boulder Dome. Take this as his guest appearance. He was always a great soldier, and as a ghoul, he was deployed in every major conflict during, before the Great War. He's been pushed to the sidelines since our arrival, but as our policy shift in favor of the ghouls, maybe it's time to reactivate his, this old veteran. Deploy Major Macronovo. There are a few things you can say about Mac Ronovo. His nickname, The Hound, comes from the loyalty he shows his friends and his viciousness that he shows his foes. He has a face that could be described as rat-like, and for that he's had some rude comment before. Fortunately, he can take a joke. He just got promoted to the rank of Major, and prior he did most of, mostly worked in logistics and engineering. Nevertheless, he's more than ready to serve in the front line and deploy Major Briggs. As our nation <clears throat> when widens his military presence all over our neighbors, slowly becomes necessary to wage wars on a different front as well. Hidden operations, deep behind enemy lines, 
lines, blowing up infrastructure before we would arrive. General spying, something that not everybody is capable of doing. Major Briggs is the only officer in our country who could do something similar, so Agent Border will be reactivated into a regular duty. Cool. I'm going to do that one. Yeah, how about some sediments? Because we could use that. And also, Lanius died! Lanius died! Wait! Oh! Oh god! Lanius died to the Hangdogs, as well as the Iron Alliance, so... This is very weird timeline. And also the Western Brotherhood did die, as you can see on, over here, so... Yeah. This is weird. Oh, and the Free Fighters, I guess, tried to take out the Republic of the Rio Grande, but then they died. Unity of Austin's looking not too bad, either. Um, other than that, these guys are killing each other like normal. Mirror Drinkers are here. The, um... Troll War were wiped out. New Reno's taking out the Antelope Tribes. Other than that, not too much else has happened. Uh, the 80s and the Mormons. I don't think the Mormons are winning. And the 80s looking pretty okay. Other than that, I don't think really anything else has happened. I wonder if the dogs are going to win. They have a lot of manpower. Not nearly as much as Kai's are. 48... I love this on historical. Is this supposed to happen for only 48 divisions? The NCR has 129. Something is going on, man. Uh, there's something, something messy going on here. And seven divisions have just been encircled. Very good. Jolly good. But since we're back together... And let's go and do some stuff like finish what we have started. The first war against the Black Cannon Raiders was a necessary one, but now that we've consolidated our lands, we have everything needed to finish the job. Policing their lands will still be a heavy burden, but we have an important mission. We have some prisoners that need be put back in their jail. Good. Oh, sir, you're about to die here completely and wholly. Oh. And we did get someone jailed back in... Ooh, oh, there's Briggs. Nice. There you go. And, yeah, I got someone in circle here, or, or, you know, captured, which sucks. He's probably going to die in there. Which is not very good, but it is what it is. And let's go and do the stupid pit boys. Why not? Long range radio. And grab some uh, decryption. All right, let's see what we can do. So you guys go over... Uh, there you go. And uh, there you go, too. At this point, I think, well, I think we're pretty much poised to go ahead and win. Even these guys, they're only half strength, so I'm feeling not too bad. We stopped making divisions as well, as you can see, so. Hey, these guys are all encircled. Very nice, rapid prototype can come in handy. Advanced tools, thank you very much. And kill them all off if you can. Seven more divisions go bye-bye. Keep going, going, going. We're doing a great job. Yeah, we, it, this took a while, like, this took a while off screen to do, so. But not battery nose. Boom, 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 boom. There goes the Mara mongers. And they actually broke across. That's that's pretty good. Marrow Drinkers and the Apostles, very nice. Finish what we have started. Ooh. And we'll come back and do this later. Executives for Judith Additionals. The three branches of the government concept slowly being realized. We have people to make the laws and have judges to rule on them, and we have never had any problem with a politically active army. But as we have established a civilian police separate from our main army, we'll need additional equipment to field them. Civilian armaments coming right on up. Nice. There you go. Keep on going, 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 going. You're doing great. Oh, you are doing a great job, but uh, there ain't too much here to do. Actually, at this point, we might just want to reform ourselves. I'm. Mm, we did say we might go to war with these guys. Anyways, how strong is Diana? 16 divisions. Uh, oh. Technically, yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. All right, are you, would, you all, would you all like to go, please? Oh, you can see they're, better, they're veterans over here, so. Very nice. Uh, you guys can go there, and then you guys can do that. There you go. We've only killed 27,000 of them, and we killed off almost all the divisions, so... Hey, not bad. Pulse code modifications, and we got almost a week left for that. Great. We could do that stuff, I suppose. Oh, let's actually do this one. Just because we'll get maxed out stability, basically, when the time comes. Should be pit balls, not bad. We'll be at peace soon, so we can send out another expedition. If these guys really start losing, I don't mind going to war with the Hangdogs. Actually, we might just go ahead and go to war with them. We'll see what happens, though. I want to trade with North Phoenix first, though. Moab, thank you very much. The mechanical equivalent of a sigh of relief. Zack, who proudly accepted his new name, happily rattling and clattering with his new clean and spacious memory banks. Their great calculation has come to an end, and the result are... 42. We're not exactly sure what we should do with this information, but we're happy that Zack enough uses full capacity to assist our researches and simulations. And we're pretty sure with this help we'll be able to do things that the Wasteland never saw before. Well, Zack performs, it's, or performs itself a wonder. 
Goddard shared his ideas, and her scientific circle seems to be more and more ambitious with every success they accomplish. Their plan is a great circle of Zack's computers bound together into one network, where they can share their power, achieve an unspeakable level of raw computing power. While our more conservative scientists said that there is a reason to why they never did that in the past, and reminded Goddard what happened last time when his axe run amok with his power, he is adamant. Nonetheless, we only have Zax Boulder's Zax under our belt, so these plans don't mean anything. Well, that's kind of disappointing. <laughs> with Zax on our side, nothing can stop us now. The save Zax computer, plus 10% research speed, and also, like, I think we, I did a few of these things, uh, well, I can't say anymore, but a few of these decisions to make sure that we had a little bit extra time, but I didn't take too many of them, really. So, I guess, all we got was research speed. Hmm. I'm kind of I'm a little disappointed with that, then. <laughs> um, we can't do that one, obviously. Uh, we need to set our power armor tech. So, let's do access to local power armor studies. It's hard to say what kind of research went into power armor under the dome. We didn't find any usable armor, only some parts, mostly servos and hydraulics. The research papers are silent as well. We can conclude that only improvement research went on it. And the only thing we found was remnants of a command module. Nice. Yeah, because we can't do that yet. We'll get there, though. Service rifles. Organization. Would y'all like to continue moving? That'd be very good, guys. That'd be super good if you could just move your chubby little legs. We love them chubby. Wait. Hmm. Hmm. Battlefield hierarchy is good to do. Let's grab some elite breakthrough tactics as well. Keep going, guys. No stopping here. No stopping. And the agent was killed. God dang it. Oh well. Twice it two lifetimes. And get Moab and they should be done. And boom Marinos. We've got them, my friends. Well, that took way too long to do. Time to take forever against Diana too. When you go to war by Never. Okay. So we should get some good compliance here. And also off screen I recorded pretty much everything else here, so. Executive judicials, sign us up. Access local power armor studies, that'd be very, very good. Postcode modifications. Eh, right, why not? Yeah, that was a bit crazy doing what we did here. Taking so long to do stuff. But, Diana, we need this territory. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. That's is not very good. They have a lot of divisions here. Actually, let's take a look. Realm of Diana, 5,000 manpower, stockpile. It isn't looking great. Eh, they do have some good stuff, though. Like, let's, not be, let's be real. They do have some good stuff. Can y'all do okay against these folks? Yeah, looks like you can. I guess so. Yeah, they're, do they're doing okay. That's not... Oh, that might be worse than this. How are they doing over here? Okay, we probably want to go to war with these guys then. They're next. They're on the chopping block. Hold on. Are they doing last stand? Don't tell me they're doing last stand. They're doing last stand. Look at that. Yeah, they're definitely doing last stand. Oh, oh boy. Oh, I thought they were. I'm pretty sure they were, but whatever. Because their organization wasn't dropping at all. Maybe our guys just suck. I haven't done even done the land auction stuff either, so. Guess we have to wait and see. And you know what? Just in case, you can throw him right there. Paradise, thank you. Now let's send both of them to Paradise. Because he can. I guess we could use him to put down resistance, but whatever. And then... Access to local bio gel studies. Bio gel is always a true work of wonder. Its primary function is to keep their brains fresh and functioning, so it's mainly used in manufacturing and maintaining robo cells or robo brains in cyber dogs. It could also be utilized in a more generic medical way, face fastening the healing process of bodily tissue. Seems like a pretty good idea to me. I love body tissue. We got a whole bunch of it ourselves. There's a lot of guys. Oh, 16 of the divisions have been cut off. Now that's sad. Well, wasn't that many guys, but that's alright. Wait, wait, do we literally need... The Beauty Paradise. Paradise is the name of the tribals living here called the state. A marvelous ecological paradise within the waste, hidden between the mountains. While this place is marvelous, we have a feeling that something is hidden beyond the fauna of this place. Large metal gates and hidden pathways give the impression that there is something working here beside, outside of our grasp. Still, it's mighty pretty. The nursery operational. Well, hold on. Hold on. I didn't agree to this yet. Paradise, thank you very much. Alright. Now it's time to put down some of these doggy renos. 
Because we're going to go in almost immediately to take whatever we can. Probably the rest of this part of Colorado. So we at least have a defensive line around here. So, Because we will go to war immediately. Because that's all I really want. We'll give everything else to the Legion. So, Nice. And we're almost literally on the line. Three, two, one. Oh, wait. We're still justifying. God dang it. Eh, it's not that long, much longer. And look at that manpower. Not too bad. Not too bad. And we get one trade node, two trade node. That's all I really want. Yeah, Polanius. Po Polanius. Oh, well. Go on in. This worked out very nicely for us, actually. Quite nicely. And then what are we going to do? We're going to go to the capital of Colorado. Well, I guess so. Dog City or Denver, as it once was called, is not only the greatest settlement or remnants of the old world in Colorado, but a symbol as well. The symbol of power, grandeur, and most importantly, control. We'll have to secure it for ourselves, even though its sheer size is a little bit intimidating. But then, we could do like this one, like I said earlier, but I think I'm going to do the past of the Black Canyon. The people of the Black Canyon are nothing more than raider gangs who saw civilized people as easy pickings. And now that we've demonstrated the error of that belief, they beg for mercy. How often do they show mercy to the towns they ravage? No, let's herd these people back into the colossal concrete block of home. Alright guys, do you, you want to go? Seriously, let's go, let's go, 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 go. Alright, uh, do, no? Seriously, just take the land. Go. I don't know why you're stopping. And not making any sense. Okay, now you're going. Okay, I don't, I don't understand sometimes why they don't go. Cut off Dog City. See what happens. With them completely cut off from the capital, all the rest of the divisions will die. Actually, they only 20 divisions left. We've done about uh, three, 400 uh, losses. We've inflicted 400 losses. Very nice. Wait, so we can't do that one, huh? Hmm. Crowd control here? Well, we took Dog City. Go down here. You'll, you'll encircle and that'll be good. Very nice. See, we're doing our part. We're doing our part. We'll probably have to kill out the Legion next time. But even then, we'll see what happens. Oh, there goes, oh, the Unity of Austin. I still, think, I still think I need to play as them. I don't think I've played as them yet. I could be very wrong about that, though. I could be very, very wrong, but we'll see. Capital of Colorado, we'll do that one. Oh, yeah. Wait. Has researched power armor tech. Settler power. Uh, can we research that? I don't think we can research that, can we? Restart the manufacturing lines. Turn on the lights. We need advanced generators. Fabrication factories. Who let the dogs out? Almost California. Um. Hands of ghouls. Oh, okay, there it is. We need to do this one. New sterling. Okay, so once we get that, we can get that. So that'll be good. Uh, cool, 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 cool. And let's do this one. Pa pass the Black Canyon. And there they go. Now, obviously, I'm not going to take most of this. The Legion deserves most of this. And you know what? I think I'll just do this part off screen. Alright, everyone. So, we've gone ahead and done the peace deal, and we've just finished up past of the Black Canyon. Legacy of the Tibbets Prison. Ooh. Or access to local, local robotic studies. Well, how about we go ahead and do first? New Sterling Forges. A constant war the Iron Alliance was waging was eating up resources as the raiders were eating bullets. Next to their armories, their foundries were swallowed up, swallowing up metal scraps and were spitting out metal pieces rivaling the old world quality. Freed slaves. More work for people. You already read that once. Very weird. But, as you see, like I did say, I'd take everything of this part of Colorado just because it looks better. Border Gore is not what I like. Sometimes, sometimes we will have Border Gore. Sometimes we won't. It just depends, and right now we're justifying on these guys over here. So, ooh, world, 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 world. and we have, and we have money. We actually have money, which is, oh, so nice to have cash, isn't it? Well, let's see, can we trade 20, oh, 109, baby, that is, mm, that is good stuff. New Canaan, can we trade with you too? Oh, no. Hey, but 60 is pretty nice, I gotta, I gotta admit that, that's pretty darn nice. How are we doing for compliance? Not bad, not bad. And we should get a core reduction, 44, not bad. Keep corn, corn, corn. Corn as much as we can. We're going to need a whole lot of PP. I wish you didn't hurt her PP earlier. Hurting your PP is not very much fun. But let's go and stop training. And we'll probably go ahead and switch to power armor next episode once we actually research all this stuff. So let's go right on in and see what we can do. Bricks are great for the nation. But even better, bricks are even better. Uh, I'm not too worried about this, especially when these guys are coming in. So so then we'll do Colorado Treasure. Uh, new Sterling has to be core. So we'll probably do that one off screen. Uh, new Sterling Armaments. Yeah.
New Sterling is a surprisingly rich place due to the raid-fueled economy that built it. Its great armories were releasing r power armor en masse, even if they're cobbled together from scraps and their servos seem homemade as well. We freed their slaves, so we'll employ some people to fill the void. Additionally, we'll probably do some unobstructive piloting as well, which would be very good. And I'm still going to switch land auctions. So, access to local robotic studies. Inside the dome, there were multiple research projects being conducted simultaneously. Rarely did different programs intersect. Luckily, robotic studies were an integral part of the code program. As implemented, the extracted brains in a robotic chassis required specials from several different disciplines. We can learn from this, and maybe later on acquire the designs for robo-brains. So we can't do one yet, but New Sterling, this one, this is... More compliance is usually a pretty darn good thing to get, so... Get some more extraction, that'll be very good. And we actually make some more divisions now. Which is very, very bueno. Alright, so we're doing quite well. And we're gonna, we've are gonna we already just started just finding this, this group as well, which will be very, very nice. That's just not going to take too much longer, but that is okay with us. We do need to core new Sterling ASAP, and we're going to need 101 political power. Oh boy. So we read that one. And we should probably do Legacy of the Tibbetts Prison next. The Tibbetts Prison was an AI-managed facility, which controlled a high number of robotic wardens to keep order between the thick concrete walls. While the full story of what really happened here is quite a mystery in itself, one thing is for sure, this AI is no more, and will never rise again. The facility was the HQ of the Black Canyon Raiders, and now that we control the place, it can fulfill its original goal. Maybe we don't have to steal guards to control them, but this prison will work perfectly well in human hands. Of course it will. And maybe we may get a little bit of a navy, because we can. Because we can. And you know what? We're probably going to take out new machos as well. 30 days? Not bad. Let's go right on in, guys. And Do they have divisions? Yes, they do. Okay. How many divisions do they have? 14? Not bad. We have 24. We probably want to make a few more, and then we'll convert some guys over. I love that little icon there. You know what? Screw it. Can we, can we, can we change it? That'd be really cool if we could. Ooh, I kind of like that one, too. Uh, that, that's really NCR, but we're not really NCR. We are Coloradans here. So, I actually never changed any of this stuff. This is really cool, all the stuff they have here. I like the bottle. That looks pretty cool, too. Ooh, what do we want? Um, I like the sombreros as well. But, like, with the thumbnail, I think uh, I kind of like that one. I really do. We're using power armor as well. So, well, you know, I'll just go with the tried and true bear, because we bears exist, right, in Colorado. At least last time I checked, there probably are bears there, right? So, there's twin-headed bears in in California, but here we have bears that stand up and walk on two legs. The ram uh, that's really cool. The Ramshackles, I like that name. That's a pretty good name. I think that's pretty clever. That's pretty darn nice. New Sterling Armories, thank you very much. Legacy of the Tippets Prison. Ah, Circle Junction, you stood no chance, my friends. No chance. Well, let's see, with these four divisions, we can probably send them over here. That'd be pretty darn nice. And let's send two of them right there. Uh, actually, that's not going to be enough guys here. Um, there you go. You can do that one. And then uh, and then you two go right there. That won't be too bad. Because you two, or you 20, go right here. Well, realistically, half of you bears are going to come over here. That is not too bad either. Cool. Oh, circle junction. That's one of the things that you want to keep an eye on. Circle Junction, because I've played Old World Blue so much, and at least played over out here once or twice. Zero infrastructure is just god awful. Oh my goodness, breaking my heart. <sighs> and we can go to war with them. Give us a little bit more, a few more days, and we'll probably justify on these guys, the dead horses, because they got some of our territory that we do want from them. Thank you very much. That's part of Colorado. I do think for this campaign, we do have to go to war with the um, Legion. It's only fitting that we do. I wonder if we. Hmm, I don't think it'd be appropriate for us to take out the NCR. That that might be a bit too much for us, but eh, maybe we'll see what happens. Go ahead and take him out, guys. Go ahead. Shouldn't be too bad. Nice. Oh, okay. The board just really just died there. Love it. Got to love it. All right. So it's not too bad. Uh, you guys, we're getting close to New Mexico and Arizona, so. We're already going to do these folks, these fine folks down here as well, which is very nice. But I do want to wonder what this Tibbetts prison system is like. It seems kind of like fun, and then maybe we'll end the episode, so. But not before we record this. Beautiful. Delicious. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Look at all the stuff we got here. There, you're going to have that. We got even more planes? Why not? Airbase raids? Why not? Die bombing? Why not? 
The ruins of a prison, though. The penitentiary was once known as the Tibbetts Prison, housing the U.S. most dangerous war criminals and deserters and also POWs from the Sino-American conflict. While this itself is quite an achievement, the prison didn't attain the level of not notoriety it did just because of that. During the expansion of the facility in 2042, the USA's Department of Army started a secret discussion with vault -Tec, which resulted in something we only noticed as Safe House Project. The facility was used as a case study, researching the prolonged effect of isolation, especially on those inmates who went through the code program. Also, the water purification and recycling systems tested here were later used in the construction of the vaults. The prison stayed completely functional after the war and even raised a number of res residents as it functioned as quarantine prison. The AI in command, collecting people with highly infectious diseases. Due to the scheming of the infamous Pr Victor Presper, there was one prison breakout in 2253 which emptied the whole facility. If the Black Canyon Raiders hadn't set up camp here, its hollow halls would remain empty till the end of times. And while it's sad that neither the old AI nor its mechanical wardens are not retrievable, we could easily rule this place. With a new painting and some human wardens, we can make it part of our justice system, giving it back its old purpose. Keeping criminals locked up, how hard can it be? Oh! Where is that? The pen. Uh... Oh, it's right there. That's a free core. We'll take it, my friends. We'll take it. But I guess that's going to be it for us here today. And you know what? Colorado Treasure. Did I read this already? It took a while, but the last Raider gang or last Raiders gone from the lands around New Sterling. Some of them got reformed, some of them got locked up. Most of them got dead, but now peace reigns once more in this corner of Colorado, and we can start reverse engineering the power armor schematics they use. They seemed simple enough. In which I'll go ahead and do this one. I think I already read this one yesterday, so... Or I read this one earlier. Uh, if I didn't, please go right ahead and read that. And we'll have this one researched. So, and we can't... We, I would love to do this one, but it is what it is. And the right place for ghouls. The forges are hackish, to say the least. Injuries are quite a regular side, and the heat is almost unbearable. Despite the high pay, people are understandably unwilling to work there. Why don't we just force the ghouls to make themselves useful? We can save a lot of precious human manpower, and it'll be cheaper as well. But if you enjoyed the video, do please consider leaving a like. It does help me out. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know how far we should go with this for a campaign, and I will see you tomorrow, in which we'll probably end up fighting the Legion and maybe even the NCR itself. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.